Yay! Woo! Um, will we do this again? I don't know. If the weather's this nice, sure. Why not? Okay. Um, so we want to do a couple thank yous before we get into our program. Um, this year has been. This is. I, I. I would like to believe that today is a thank you for all the things we've been through this year, especially as music um, learners. Right. We'll. We'll take this as a sign of thank you for dealing with this and, and making the most out of tough stuff. Um, some specific thank yous. We want to give a big, huge thank you to Matt Wire and Ken Keith. They run the performing arts centers here in the district. So obviously, when things shut down, um, they put all of their time, hearts, and energy to creating, helping us do virtual band well. Obviously, doing cons concerts like this, creating some of those like combined virtual concerts. They have been amazing. So thank you, Matt and Ken, so much. They're those people where you email and they just say, yes, we'll be over as soon as we can. It's like, oh. Sweet. <laughs> thank you. Um, we did very much want to thank uh, the Sun Prairie Area School District and specifically Nick Reichoff at the district office. Um, the tent that's out back, ordering all the special masks and bell covers. Um, they were very responsive and helpful in making sure that we had what we need to still get back to making music and doing it safely. Um, also want to thank all the Cardinal Heights administration and teachers and maintenance buildings and grounds. You know, when we said, hey, we're going to put a tent in the back of the school and you can't park there anymore. Um, people were mostly just very happy for us that we could actually do what we want to do. Um, all those buckets came from Maggie Davison and Westside Elementary School, so we wanted to give a shout out to them. All right. And um, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And then just a couple quick shout outs. Uh, Mr. Williams here, wearing the Badger shirt, is student teaching. He's uh, finishing up his college experience at UW-Madison. I like to say he's let me uh, take a vacation a lot this spring, so you'll see he's doing more work than me. I like it that way. Um, he's been fantastic. He's currently applying for jobs all around the state, so please make sure um, you, you wish, wish Mr. Williams well on his way. Uh, he's going to be an awesome, awesome music teacher. Thank you, Mr. Williams. Actually, I would say this. He is an awesome, awesome music teacher. It's already there. And then we wanted to introduce and thank uh, Miss Becky Rush. Um, she's been on Patrick Marsh band staff for a while, part time. And then this year, when I took on some of the dean responsibilities, it was awesome that she could join us on the Cardinal Heights staff and keep us rolling and give kids a really good experience. So thank you, Mrs. Rush, for being here. All right, without further ado, enough talking. Um, this is Sinea, and she's going to tell you about what we're starting our concert off with. This first piece we are going to play is an arrangement of bucket drumming group that the Wind Symphony has been learning over the past four days. Everything you are going to hear has been learned by ear. No written music was involved in this process. Throughout the arrangement, we pulled from many different influences, including rock, pop, and a focus of Brazilian drumming style of Moroccan suit. You will first hear the rock suit drumming as a full group, followed by a split group drum off between a few soloists. We hope you enjoy the 2021 Wind Symphony Bucket Arrangement.
How's everybody doing on this Wednesday afternoon? Well, this next song is called Hopak, and I'm Finian Munn. That's my name. And this, this song is derived from Ukrainian folk music, and it's Ukrainian dance. So if you want to, you can dance, because it's pretty, it's pretty funky. So let's get into it. Well, we got one uh, more piece for you uh, this morning afternoon. Um, and the one thank you we want to make sure we especially get to is thank you to all these students and families. Last spring and especially this fall, Mrs. DL and I were planning. And the quantity of music we handed out is somehow mathematically represented, uh, connected to how much we had no clue what we were about to do. <laughs> so I think we sent home probably three trees worth, because we had no idea. It's been awesome working with Mrs. Jen Yellow. Next year, we'll actually like hopefully get to do it a little more real, but it's been great. So thank you, students and families, for being patient, supportive. You've been graceful all along the way, um, and it's made the hard year much easier. So let's thank students and families. Thank you all so very much. And speaking of support, we're lucky that in some prayer we have a lot of entities that support our band programs. One of these is kind of uh, somewhat like an alumni organization called the Bernie Powers Band Foundation. Um, and one of the ways they support uh, bands in Sun Prairie is through some scholarships. So I'm going to welcome Ann Cedarquist up to the mic. She was former brand director of Prairie View, now involved in Bernie Powers. And we have a scholarship accommodation. Thank you. Um, just to let you all know, if you have not been introduced to the Bernie Powers Foundation, uh, we are, the, the members of the group are alum and families uh, that have gone through the band program and are continuing to support band in Sun Prairie. We have four scholarships that we offer at the end of the year. Uh, one of them is for seniors going on music education. The second scholarship is for students who have played in the band program and are continuing a four year, uh, some kind of either technical school or four year education beyond high school. The third one is a jazz scholarship for attending jazz camp 
And then the fourth one is the one I'm going to present this morning. This one is a two-pronged scholarship. Students can apply because they're participating in the Sound of Sun Prairie, and students can also apply if they are um, studying percussion lessons privately. The, it's the Marsha Bur Marcia Berman Scholarship. Marsha was a percussionist, so were her kids. Um, and on her passing, her family established a scholarship. And this year's recipient is Mr. Nicholas Rupplinger. piece is going to be a uh, piece called Drawing Mars. Now, who in here is a ninth grader that went to Patrick Marsh? Okay, so ninth graders that went to Patrick Marsh have kind of played this piece before. Michael Markowski was one of the yearly commissions that Chris Gleason and the Patrick Marsh band make every year, a seventh grade bands. Um, and he commissioned Mr. Markowski, and what's cool, they take in student ideas of, of how, what piece are we going to commission this year? What's it going to be about? And a lot of students kind of had ideas of like space. And Markowski used to love space exactly when he was these kids' age. He used to make home movies. Um, so he really went with that idea. And really just explores the idea of, you know, early in the 1900s, there were some, you know, claims that there was life on Mars. Well, maybe there still is. Um, so really this piece, it doesn't tell a story, but it gets you to imagine life on Mars. And he created a new version of this this year, and we're one of the first bands to play this, where he had it, electronics to it. So you could learn this on your own at home. You could learn this in a hybrid setting, a concurrent setting, an outdoor band setting. So this is great because these group of people have never all been together until today. Some of us have been together on Wednesdays. Some of us have been together during the school days. Some of us, this is our first day with this group of people. So we're going to do our best to represent Mr. Markowski's Drawing Mars. yourselves. Is there life on Mars, true or false? Ready, go.
Awesome job. Thank you, students. Really well done. What a crazy situation, suits and families. Thank you again. We're going to do some cleaning up. Um, we have some popsicles, and a family brought some cookies for students. I'm sorry, family. Maybe you can go to Polar's or something like that. Um, so let's get instruments packed up. If you have a school instrument, um, those will all need to go inside. And then on your way out, we'll meet by the red door, and we'll give you some treats. If you want to stick around, jazz is going to rehearse for a little bit. Jazz will be at 11.30, and then eighth grade bands at 12.30. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. And then tonight, Patrick Marsh at 7 o'clock. So if you want to just spend all day outside listening to music, go to Patrick Marsh in the back, 7 o'clock. Thank you all.